Welcome again, Patriotic Remnant listeners. We would like to apologize for not sending prayer casts for the past two weeks. Because of lack of staff and overwork, we were between exhaustion and exhaustion. Thank you for joining us again. Hi, this is Phil. Today we are praying about a specific piece of legislation that is working its way through Congress. This week, the House voted on H.R. 36, a bill entitled the Pain-Capable Unborn Child Protection Act. The bill was offered as a way of making sure that unborn babies in the womb who are 20 weeks or older will not be aborted. New technology and scientific research now reveals that babies do feel pain, and it is now proven that late-term abortions cause excruciating pain to the children. As horrific a practice as abortion is, it seems unlikely that it will be totally overturned anytime soon. Let's listen to U.S. Congressman Sean Duffy, a Wisconsin Republican, as he passionately described what this bill is about this week on the House floor. I yield two minutes to the gentleman from Wisconsin, Mr. Duffy. Gentleman is recognized for two minutes. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Um, this is a bill that is protecting babies that can survive outside the womb. Uh, this is babies who can feel pain. Um, that this institution wouldn't stand up for those vulnerable children in our society uh, it's a sad day for this institution. I, uh, I have seven children. Uh, this is my sixth. This is Marty V. Um, this picture was taken with the two of us the day she was born. Uh, she's now five years old. She's gregarious, awesome, fun, uh, the most beautiful joy in our family. The way the law stands today is that the day before this picture was taken, it would have been legal to abort Marty V. I want to talk about women's rights. This is a little girl. This is a little baby girl who will one day grow up to be a woman. Let's stand up and protect this little girl, not the day that she was born only, but also the day that she's in the womb. Let's protect her from the pain of abortion. The silent screams of those babies who were aborted in the womb that aren't heard because they don't have voices in this institution defending them. I listen, Madam Speaker, I listen to the floor debate day after day, whether in this chamber or on C-SPAN, and I hear the other side talk about how they fight for the forgotten, they fight for the defenseless, they fight for the voiceless, and they pound their chest and they stomp their feet. You don't have anyone in our society that's more defenseless than these little babies. And we're not talking, listen, I'm, I believe in life at conception. I know my colleagues aren't going to agree with me on that. But can't we come together as an institution and say, we're going to stand with little babies that feel pain? We're going to stand with little babies that can survive outside the womb? Ones that don't have lobbyists, that have money, that can't rally, that can't offer contributions to your campaign? Don't talk to me about cruelty in our bill. When you look at little babies being dismembered, feeling excruciating pain, if we can't stand to defend these children, what do we stand for in this institution? What do we stand for in America if we can stand up for the most defenseless and voiceless among us? I yield back. Since the 1973 Roe v. Wade Supreme Court decision, abortion has been legalized and become firmly entrenched in our culture. H.R. 36 passed the House vote but is considered largely for show, as Senate Democrats will not allow the bill to come up for a vote, and President Obama has already promised to veto it if it ever manages to come to his desk. Therefore, we need to pray. If you are in agreement with us, join us now as we pray. Father, we come to you with repentant hearts. Our nation has sanctioned the murder of millions of babies by allowing abortion in this country. We know that you are the father of us all, and that you are the one who fights on behalf of the voiceless and defenseless, and that no human life is as silent or helpless as a child whom you are knitting together in its mother's womb. And so it is our hopeful prayer that this practice would somehow be abolished. Until then, we are praying that you would undertake blocking any parliamentary or political ploy to undo the passage and full implementation of H.R. 36. And all God's people said, Amen. Thank you for participating in this member-supported free weekly prayer cast. You make it possible and worthwhile to bring prayers like this one as we rely on your donations to continue. Consider a generous donation to PR today. Also, 
if you would like to register for our 5 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Pacific Time prayer cast, where we email you with a reminder to pray each Sunday, just inbox PR your name and city to info at patrioticremnant.org. Let us know how this message affected you, or share concerns you have that you would like to hear addressed in future prayer casts. God bless you all, and God bless this endeavor. May this be heard by those who need to hear it.